so when it comes to online learning, this is where I wasn't able to find the correct platform or the best platform for online learning. There was a lot of problems out there. And this is not only from my side. Like if you look at the statistics, six out of 100 learners are finishing these courses. So like based on the problems that I was facing and the gaps that I saw, uh, this is where I was interested to go into the edtech industry, uh, make a change, make learning more accessible and more engaging. And, and this is something that I've been working on for uh, more than six years now. And um, the recognitions and support that we're getting out there for what we're building, uh, feedback from the clients, uh, from the students, uh, awards, like recently we got the World Summit Awards winner for our uh, company. So all of these things that are happening are also supporting us and pushing us forward telling us that this is the right direction that you're moving in. This is a more human-centered platform. This is helping students uh, out there to learn online, to have more accessible education. So this is what's moving us forward when it comes to uh, the ed tech industry and the impact that we're having on these uh, learners. It's not only about like putting all of these pieces of information in front of them and asking them to solve some uh, questions. Students or learners themselves can also um, provide us with kind of uh, reflection um, during the lesson. So this is one part of what we aim for uh, while uh, teaching online. From our research and experience with students, we see like the online platforms are very stiff and unnatural. And they are created in a way like as learning management systems, like as they are called, like to manage the students. But they're not looking at the student side where I have to think about uh, how the student is learning. So they don't follow a learning centric approach. They just are seeing what the administrators or educators want to see and how to manage their students. We see that with the like, power of AI now, um, that we can achieve this more conversational learning approach. Uh, we can make sure that learners are being treated as humans and they are engaging in conversations that are helping them to uh, learn. Um, we can also benefit from the social media. This is also another field in the educational technology. There's a field where we use the social media in interpreting and the big data and in interpreting the learners uh, interactions with the uh, with the social media platforms in order to interpret the, the responses and then we can know uh, the level of knowledge these uh, messaging apps are already um, installed on the students uh, phones or on the students parents phones so here we are not obliging them to to download any kind of application. I think these options uh, we are working on in order to allow anyone who doesn't have like a uh, good internet connection or a very good or sophisticated device to like to still learn. So when it comes to like our platform, it's true that most of our students right now or organizations are from vulnerable communities. But how we thought about this platform is, first we looked at a more human-centered approach. So we looked at the students' behavior right now. Where are they spending their time? How are they interacting? Where are they interacting with each other? And what we have seen is they spent a lot of time on social media, uh, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on TikTok, and on, on Instagram. So we wanted to get this learning experience out there to them instead of pushing them to come to our platform. But this is not strictly what we're currently doing. So we, we're currently, for example, uh, working with a couple hundred executives that are learning over messaging apps about uh, AI, about uh, Web3, about blockchain. So just micro courses around these topics. This is why now we're taking it to other target uh, groups that are not vulnerable. So if you look at it in, a, in another way, 
it's like we built something for vulnerable students or uh, for people in underprivileged communities that is as good as or better than what is there for the privileged communities. So now they are equal in using the same platform that is accessible for both and they have uh, like a more engaging and interactive learning experience.